That's a load of rock. There we go, six of them in. If this door will stay open. Y'all don't want to see no face. Me with broken dreams. He left me with broken dreams before it Joey wanted me slaughter house it was coping. This is the most blatant shit I've seen this far outside of the Quinn Miller shit. The world who I was. Oh my you toxic when you actually came up. You know what I'm saying? Um I'm, I'm a better artist. I have most potential, man. Like, yeah. So what has been done here? Well, the power input has been installed, 220 volts going in right there. Uh, another thing that has been installed is the switch off and on, uh, nice mechanical switch there. And then we have all this stuff. Now I know you're probably freaking out, like what in the world is all this? I have a breaker box on the way that's gonna replace all this, so all this would be enclosed, but for now this is all I got. But what we, ha what we have here is the meter. This is also a 50 amp circuit breaker, but it also is a meter that I can connect to my phone too to let me know how many amps, how many volts, how many watts. We have uh, the ground bar here. We have the actual hot and um, both hots on the bar up there. We have single pole breakers for every single circuit. And then this is going to be the 120 side for anything that runs off of 120. And then we have the power supplies down here. And every single one of them, we're not done yet, but this is just three of at least six. But every single one is going to have the relay. So it can be turned on wirelessly from a distance. Uh, everything is grounded quadruple times. And then we're going to have a good bare copper ground going right to the machine whole machine will be grounded of course with us being all in the same circuit every single one of these is grounded to the same circuit so that is also extra safe too uh so yeah there's a lot of things going on here like i said right now we, we got at least three more to put on here before we can even really test run the machine three magnetrons is not enough to test run the machine so we need to hook up three more but that's how it's coming along it's looking really good i really like this cabinet design here I gotta put some silicone caulk on the top and you know along all the seams of these types of things here to make sure this whole cabinet is completely waterproofed but really the only area that's going to be open is this right here and the top bit so everywhere else doesn't even need to be caulked all this can just be closed in boom hopefully these doors seal and make it airtight but i could always put some type of gasket up across there worse come the worst if they don't right so anyways it's looking good you see i just had it hooked up to the machine just doing some tests to see the distance i didn't turn it on or anything but it's looking like for some of these leads it might be okay because these are pretty long leads especially compared to microwave transformers but some of them will not be able to reach all the way across because we're going to have this cabinet you see right now this cabinet is at the end of the machine but it's actually going to be in the middle so we're going to have to extend some of these leads that's okay just put a wall go psh, psh, extend it um, and then we'll be good so these original casters i put on this cabinet here have completely failed they're too small they cannot hold up to the weight and they get unbalanced and make this thing fall down, which is dangerous. So I gotta get some bigger daddy casters. So we got some bigger daddy casters. We're gonna put these biggie daddy casters on the cabinet.
down and party at the party with his name. And down a weird case So the new wheels are going to working a lot better on this thing. They can lock in the swivel direction and in the rolling direction. Unlike like the last ones, they're just overall better casters. Anyways, I did all this and this was temporary. I was doing this just to be able to test run the machine, but I didn't even test run the machine because it's been raining so much around here. So this was just temporary because obviously I'm not going to make this piece of particle board with all my rails on it permanent so anyways i gotta take all this apart another thing i want to do a lot of you guys suggested that i move my switch to the outside because if something goes wrong and there's sparks and shorts i don't want to stick my hand in here to turn the switch off so it makes sense i don't know why i was thinking to put it in the beginning or in the inside to begin with How is it coming along? The switch has moved to the outside, like I said it would be. Another thing that has been done is the meters to let us see the kilowatt hours amps and all that has moved to the outside as well. That nice waterproof box, liquid tight fittings here, goes into here where we have this big box, uh, runs in. I might put a sleeve over that stuff there, but everything is run in, connected. You see the grounds right to the whole cabinet, bare copper. Circuit breakers for every single thing 50 amp circuit breakers for the whole circuit six amp circuits circuit breakers for every single one of these These only operate at about 5.4 amps each 20 amp circuit breaker for everything 120 that's in this machine. This is the 120 line This is the 220 line So everything here is going to the power supplies anything else is 220 everything here is gonna be 120 eventually I'm gonna have a uh, an outlet on the outside of here, boom, that um, so that way I can run an extension cord to plug in my 120 things. I'm also gonna have a 30 amp outlet eventually put on here too. This 30 amp 220 outlet, that will go to the plastic shredder so that way we can have it all in the same system to know, okay, how much electricity is everything consuming? The machine, the plastic shredder, the air compressor, the water, everything right here. All right, so battery died so I couldn't get the footage of me cutting this out, but, I gotta get a new one of these. This is rusty beat up from the previous machine. That's why I don't have this cocked in. But this one here is gonna be a kind of control panel for the motor, speed controller for the motor. And then I also have uh, a system. Where is it? Somewhere. You'll see it eventually. Anyway, it'll let me reverse, put the motor in reverse and forward and control the speed of the motor all wirelessly. All right, well, the electronics box is at a point now where the machine is ready to operate off of it. Let's just break down everything I've done here. So we have 50 amps coming in, NEMA 50P, NEMA 1450P there, so that's uh, 220 with a neutral. Goes into this mechanical switch. 
comes down to this box here where we have a power meter. This power meter will let me know the kilowatt hour consumption, the real time wattage, amperage, uh, voltage, and frequency. Right here, this is a speed controller, and this is going to be for the motor that spins the blade. So the blue motor back there, the inside. This is going to be hooked up to there. Right now, it's not. I got to get a separate DC um, power supply. But anyways, it'll be able to turn the speed up and down, and it has a switch, wireless switch. So I'll be able to control the motor wirelessly. For now, I'm just using this old school one that I've been using since Mark 4.5 or Mark 4 rather. It's a typical one. So I'll keep this. I'm going to get a new one because this one's beat up. But I'm going to get a new one so that we have a mechanical backup too as well as the wireless switch system. Um, okay, so coming on the inside here. Well, we have this nice beautiful breaker panel here. Just open this up and look at that. Beautiful, beautiful amp circuit breaker for every single thing in here. Everything 120 is on 20 amps. The whole circuit's on 50 amps, and then every single microwave power supply, there's eight of them, they're on a six amp circuit breaker. Um, and all this is just the contact, well not contactors, but the, um, the jumpers and all that type of stuff to get the power going to everything. So anyways, every single one of these power supplies, we're running six, is on a relay, wireless relay, so I could turn it on and off with my key fobs. Um, we see we also have some things here. I want to actually, first of all, of course, get these cables neater to these, but also get some covers for you see the screws. That's hot right now. All those screws are hot. So if you touch that, you know, or, you know, like maybe like this door hits it or I don't know. If something were to hit it, this whole cabinet's grounded. Okay, look, bare copper. So is the reactor. Watch this. Bare copper. I got to fix all these leads going to the machine. There's tons of them. Um, I gotta definitely, and you see uh, some of them got spliced together. It's ghetto, but that's this is temporary right now. Okay, so anyways, come over here. We have a 220 30 amp circuit outlet, and this is a 120 20 amp outlet. And this outlet goes to the fans on the machine. Boom, goes to the um, what else does it go to? Yeah, I think that's it. It goes to the fans on the machine. That's the first circuit. The second circuit, the second thing that's plugged in here, this goes to the recovery pump, okay? And this goes to the air compressor, okay? So that way, we have everything on the same circuit. So that way we can track the electrical consumption of everything. This 30 amp, 220 circuit goes to my vacuum pump because it can run on 120 or 220. 220 is better for amperage, right? Uh, and it goes to my plastic shredder which is over there all right got a lot of stuff to clean up around here <laughs> but anyways so w this is the vacuum pump right there this is the recovery pump this is the air compressor air compressor really only ne literally needs to run once every like probably 10 runs or something i don't know it barely almost no air is used okay but anyways that's the system the circuit in this cabinet, there's some waterproofing stuff I need to do. We need to get these some, some waterproof boxes. Um, but overall, it's this is the safest the reactor's ever been. It's definitely um, the neatest I've ever had the wiring stuff done. It still has a lot of work. The cabinet looks good. The biggest mess, like I said, is all of this. The leads going to the actual magnetrons. But other than that, I really like how the switch is on the outside. You know, I moved it. That's so much safer because I don't like being around the high voltage at all, you know. This stuff is covered with the PVC, but even then I don't like being around it. Unless if something went wrong and the wireless relay doesn't work, I can come over here, be near no high voltage, flip it off, boom. And then, you know, everything's on a circuit breaker right here. I could take this panel off to access the wires, but that barely needs to be accessed. But boom, everything right there, cool. Switch it back on. And yep, and then look, you know, this, this key fob chain here just has some things on it, but look, for example, fans on, fans off, that's the air valve system, that was on the circuit as well, the air, the air valve system to control the pneumatic air valve there, vacuum pump, there you go, see? So everything is good. Let's do it. Now it's just a matter of running this machine with these power supplies and seeing how it runs for the first time.